Okay, so in this video we have this lovely proportion and what we want to do is solve the proportion. Uh, and basically what that means is we want to find the value of z that makes this true. So proportions are uh, equations, but they also have a very specific uh, definition to them of which I'm definitely going to um, you know, go over very briefly. And then I'm going to show you the technique that you need to... Um, have in mind when you're dealing with any proportions, and obviously I'm going to solve this, but I'm going to give you an opportunity to solve this how, uh, as well because you have to be excellent at proportions. Proportions are everywhere in mathematics, especially algebra it's, and, and in geometry, by the way. So uh, you got to really know a lot about proportions, and this is a nice little uh, example problem that we can kind of review or maybe learn for the first time something about proportions. But uh, before we get into this uh, problem, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. That's a pretty bold statement. And of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. But uh, if you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following uh, the link in the description of this video. Um, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from uh, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, going to be launching pre-calculus here very shortly. Uh, but I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, high set task, Alex CLEP exam, uh, Accuplacer, um, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis or CBEST, or a nursing entrance uh, school exam like the TEAS, all those exams have a lot of math on it. And if you don't do well on the math sections, well, you, know, you don't do well on the exam, and we don't want that to happen. So I could definitely help you out. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your exam, drop me a line and I will help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously help those of you that uh, are struggling in your current math courses. But one thing that you have to do if you're serious about uh, wanting to improve in math that I cannot do for you, you must do for yourself. And that is the following. You got to take great math notes. Okay, this is non-negotiable. And uh, it's just something that I've seen over decades of teaching math. Those students who have great math notes almost always do very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who like to look at their cell phone, talk to their friends, and do their homework uh, for other classes during math class, well, guess what? Don't be surprised when you get C minuses, right? We don't want that to happen, okay? That's not good, okay? Not only is it your grades not good, well, then you didn't really learn this stuff. And then when you go to take your next, next math class, it's going to be a real struggle to even pass, even if you're taking notes because math builds upon itself. Okay. So the key to anything is focus. You got to write uh, things down every single day. You can't be taking notes sometimes. And then other days yeah, you're on and off because you just miss too much in between those days. So you got to stay focused consistently. And the only thing that I know that will do that is active engagement and note taking. You got to be paying to pay attention to your teacher. Take a look at your notes. That'll be a good uh, um, reflection on how well you've been paying attention. But uh, as you're improving your note taking, um, I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can uh, find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so here is our lovely problem, and uh, we want to solve the proportion. Now, if you think you can solve it. Um, definitely pause the video and go ahead and uh, do so. It won't take you long. This is a pretty basic problem. But let's get into uh, uh, proportions, okay? So here's our problem. What is a proportion? Well, I told you um, it's a special uh, equation, but effectively a proportion is nothing more than two equal fractions. So let's take a fraction like one-half and just give me another fraction that is the same as one half, but has different numbers. Okay, here for example, three over six. Uh, maybe you, you said, how about five over 10? Perfect, five over 10. If you said that, that's great. Okay, so a proportion is nothing more than two equal fractions. Okay, so you can see here, uh, for this problem, I have a fraction. Okay, this is a fraction, I got some variables here, and we're saying it's equal to another fraction. But the deal with proportions is this. Uh, if you have a proportion, if indeed you have two equal fractions, which one half is equal to five tenths, if I reduce five tenths, it is one half. The thing is, uh, there's a property with proportions, i.e. two equal fractions, that we can use what we call the cross product. Okay, and that's what we're going to be using here. So we're going to uh, multiply crosswise. Here, listen to that word, cross 
product, okay? So 1 times 10, okay, that's equal to 2 times 5, okay? We're uh, the product crosswise, okay, these diagonals. So 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10, and there you go, okay? So when we're dealing with proportions, you want to keep in mind the cross product, okay? That's how we solve things. So with that being said, the secret to solving this problem, now that you know the cross product, is just to do this times this and solve for z using your basic algebra skills. Now, there is a little bit of a twist here, not a twist, but a uh, particular area of this problem that gets some students uh, in trouble, okay? Now, I'm not going to state that because I want to give you an opportunity to see how well you do with it. So if you want to play along, go ahead and pause the video and solve for z. I already told you what you need to do, okay? But uh, I'm going to get into the solution now, so if you don't want to see it, pause the video, but let's get into it. Okay, so here is the work. And again, here's our proportion. I'm going to be uh, multiplying across. So I have 3, 3 times z. That's right here, 3z. Now, this is the part that gets students in trouble. They're going to go, oh, this is 5 times z minus 16. Okay, they'll say 5 times z minus 16 and they'll put 5z minus 16. Now if you made that mistake that's okay because a lot of students do and I'm glad that you made that with me because I don't want you to make this on your test or quizzes. That's not what you need to do uh, and now it's not apparent but what you need to, uh, in algebra anytime you have something being subtracted like this um, or like this a plus 7 a variable a sum or difference anytime you have these things put these guys and grouping symbols, parentheses, okay? Now, they weren't in here, but you're kind of expected to kind of know that. So if I had parentheses, you would do this correctly. This would be 5 times z minus 16 like this because we're going to have to apply the distributive property. So if you went, oh, 5 times z minus 16, you went 5z minus 16. Listen, that's a common error, um, and I'm glad you made that mistake because now you'll know better not to make that mistake, okay? Making mistakes is not... Uh, don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes. The key is to learn from your mistake. But if you're not paying attention uh, and, you know, trying to figure out your mistakes, then you're going to continue to repeat them. All right. We don't want that to happen. All right. So at this point, really, uh, at this point of the problem, this is basic algebra, basic algebra. Again, all this stuff. Uh, I have tons of videos on my channel. Uh, pre-algebra, uh, my pre-algebra and algebra one playlist on solving basic equations. Of course, you could just jump into one of my courses in my math help program if you really want to master this. But uh, here, you should be able to successfully solve for uh, solve for uh, z. So let's go ahead and do this. So it's going to be five times z. We got to use the distributive property here. So that's five z. Five times is sixteen. That's eighty. Okay. So let's just kind of walk through the problem. So three z is equal to five z minus eighty. So I'm going to move this variable to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 5z from both sides of the equation. And uh, we can kind of see what's going on here. So that's 3z plus a negative 5z. That's negative 2z. Okay, again, if you're having trouble with your basic algebra, you need to review that. And then I have my negative 80 right there. And at this point of the problem, I just need to divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. Of course, negative 80 divided by negative 2 is 40, positive 40. And that's what z is equal to. Okay. So if we put again 40 right here, okay, if we put a uh, 40 over 40 minus 16, you'll see that that fraction will reduce down to 5 thirds, okay? All right, so proportions. It's a hugely important topic in algebra. By the way, if you got this problem right all by yourself, then I must uh, in turn give you your happy face with a little mohawk, an A plus and a couple of stars and a 100%. I can remember back in the good old 1970s, I think it was like 1975, I don't know, I was like at first or second grade, whatever the case, well, Matt, I just knew that my first grade teacher smoked in class, I do remember that, so that's how <laughs> how it was back in the good old days, but uh, I remember getting these like little stars on my paper, even way back all that long, and you know, you feel good about yourself, so you know, listen, at any age, uh, getting these nice little A pluses and check marks, you know, that's good stuff. And as a math teacher, you enjoy doing that. Nobody likes to give out Fs and, you know, break out their red pin. But listen, if you got this right, excellent job. If you didn't get this right, then hopefully you learned something. Okay, it's really going to be up to you, right? Nobody should be failing math these days. If you're taking great notes, if you start taking great notes, you go to your math teacher, um, 
you know, and then go on to then take initiative, right? Beyond that, go to uh, additional uh, resources that you like and understand. Hopefully, my videos, you may, if you like my teaching style, well, then on my channel, I have like a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics, and hopefully you'll become a subscriber. And by the way, if you like this video, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. Uh, but if you really want to learn uh, mathematics uh, with me, uh, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay. But you could definitely succeed in math. There's no reason uh, to get poor grades in mathematics. Okay. Does it, you have, do you have to work hard at it? Absolutely. Nothing good's going to come easy. And if anyone's telling you likewise, Hey, there's like little shortcuts and hacks. Uh, so you don't have to do the work and still good, get a good grade, uh, in math. Don't listen to them. I've been doing this stuff for, for decades and decades. I'm just telling you right now, uh, you still need hard work. Okay. But if you have hard work and motivation, all right, you're going to do very well, no doubt about it. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.